me too. Oh, I've actually never tried this one before. Oh. Oh. It's so spicy. Happy holidays, everyone. Tis the season. What a better way to celebrate the holidays than eating a bunch of ramen, huh? Ain't no better way. So Samya sent over this giant advent calendar of bodak noodles. These are the very popular Korean fire noodles. You've all seen the fire noodles challenge online. It even says 24 days of fire noodle challenge. <laughs> One rep, two rep. This is truly the best gift I've ever gotten. We're gonna open this together and try a flavor from each row. Apparently, there's a new bodak flavor in town. I'm excited to unbox that one. You can actually get all of the Samyang bodak noodles at H Mart. So it's kind of like we're doing a massive ramen haul. Give this video a big thumbs up before we start because I will be dying from the spice today. So cheer me up, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here we go, here we go. I'm so, oh, it lifts up like this. Oh, here we go. Ooh, check that out. A2. Ooh, I've actually never tried this one before. This is Boldak Ramen Corn. Three. Ooh, Boldak Ramen Cheese. Wow, I've actually never tried this one either. So this is the tomato pasta. All right, let's try the corn flavor. I've actually never seen this one before. I'm very excited. To cook this one, put noodles into boiling water, cook for five minutes. Remove the water, leave four tablespoons of water, and then add the sauce and powder, and then just stir. Corn flavor. So looking at the packaging, it's supposed to be like an elote inspired uh, corn ramen. I love that they have like more Mexican flavor ramen. The noodles are always so thick and chewy. Look at that. Oh. Oh. That's so good, that's <laughs> it's so spicy. The first bite is the worst, and then it's just so addicting. Here we go. Mmm. It reminds me of cream corn soup ramen, which I love. Like actually, in Taiwan, if you go to McDonald's, they sell corn soup, and that's what this flavor tastes like. It's like a sweet corn flavor underlying the spicy ramen, and I'm trying to talk, but I'm just salivating because my... <laughs> it's spicy. This is good, this is good. My favorite thing about bodak noodles are how thick the noodles are. Thick and curly, such a good chew. I like to do this thing with my ramen where I like, I twirl it and I just eat it like a popsicle, like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call my neighbor over to help me eat this. <laughs> it's, oh, you know what, try it and let me know what it reminds okay. you of. It's not as strong as I thought. It's really like, it's yeah. like a subtle corn. I thought it was going to be like, you know the, to the corn flavor one. Oh like, yeah, strong, yeah, yeah, I know it's like creamy. Not. Yeah, it's not as strong. Yeah, it's just like a very light corn flavor. A5, here we go. Oh, too egg spicy, I know you guys want me to try this one so that you can see me die, but I don't know. Okay, number six. Ooh, look at this flavor, habanero lime. I've never seen this one before and the packaging is so cute. Seven, ooh. This is the kimchi flavor. I've actually never seen this one either. My gosh, I feel like these are kind of new new, no? Guys, can we just talk about Hochi right here? He's so stylish. Ooh, this is, oh, I've never seen this one before. <laughs> is every flavor new or something? The quattro cheese ramen, extra cheesy. I'm feeling a little cheesy, so we're gonna try the quattro cheese from this rub. This one, add noodles into boiling water, cook for five minutes and 30 seconds. Leave six tablespoons of water, add the sauce and powder and mix. Quattro cheese, extra cheesy. If you guys saw the powder, it was so orange. This noodle is different from the other noodles. It's like a thinner, still round and still very chewy looking noodle. Mm. Oh, it doesn't stop getting any less spicy. You think it would get used to it, but... Oh! I do like these rounder, chewy noodles. This one reminds me of the carbonara one. It's slightly cheesier, almost like a Cheeto puff type of cheesy. Man, this is why I never did this fire noodles challenge. Because I, I would die. The thing with bulldog sauce is it's so addicting. Even though it's spicy and you're dying, you just want to keep eating it. Savory, cheesy, chewy noodles. 
all the best combo. I like this one more than the cheese one. You like this one more and than the cheese one? Really? I mm -hmm. like the corn one more than this one, actually. This one, I feel like, has more flavor. It does, it does have more flavor. It's saucier and creamy. It is saucy and creamy. Yeah, yeah. I like the, cor the corn one more because I felt like there, there was like a very subtle corn flavor at the end. And this one is just like... Spice. <laughs> spicy, you know, creamy but still gets creamy, savory, spicy. Yeah. If you are more of a cheddar cheesy fan, then definitely go for this one. Here's a bite for you guys. Day nine. Oh, they really want me to die from the heat. Here we go. Ooh, okay. I think this is the original uh, Bulldog Ramen. Ooh, carbonara is actually my favorite flavor, but this one's cream carbonara, which I haven't tried before. Well, here we go. Another corn. From this row, we're definitely trying the cream carbonara ramen. That looks amazing, and I love anything pink. Noodles into boiling water for five minutes. Leave eight tablespoons of water. Add sauce and powder, and stir. Cream carbonara. Guys, look at this ultra creamy. Oh my gosh. I love like the flatter, curlier noodles. I don't know what they put in the sauce, but it's so addicting. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, this one is my favorite. It does taste extra, extra creamy. There's like this layer of milkiness coating the noodles and it's very, very good. It's definitely everything I love about the carbonara flavor except it's milkier, it's creamier, still the same curly noodles that I love. Very good, wow. If you guys like the carbonara one, maybe give this one a try. It's, they definitely turned up the creaminess, but not too much, just a little bit. It's still everything that you will like about this flavor. But here we go. Mm. I added a little um, black pepper and more Parmesan to it for a more carbonary taste. Hmm. It's creamy. Yeah, that's creamy. I think in terms of flavor. Yeah. You still like the cheese I one? Still like, <laughs> yeah. like the white sauce was like a bit lighter. Ah, uh, you like the heavy cheesy taste. Mm. I, I think I realized I like the lighter, milkier, a little sweeter flavor. So that was the corn and the cream carbonara. But um, Annie really likes the spicy, cheesy one. I like to do this with noodles. I go like, I pull it up and I'm like, ah. <laughs> this cream carbonara, absolutely fantastic. It's just so creamy. I love the layer of like sauce that it leaves on your lips. Mm. Smackable. Smackable. Okay, last bite. Woo. I'm gonna start speeding through these. Day 13. Jeez. More carbonara line. All right, so the flavors start repeating. The carbonara. Oh, <laughs> they really want me to try the 2x spicy, huh? From this row, we're definitely trying the habanero lime. I believe this is the new Bulldog noodle flavor. I'm very, very excited. Oh, let's go. Ooh, that's festive. For this one, add noodles and flakes into boiling water, cook for five minutes and 30 seconds. Add the sauce, stir well, and serve. You wanna add 12 ounces of water. New flavor! The cooking instruction for this one was a little bit different. This one looks incredible. Like, you can tell that it's super flavorful. It's a deep red sauce. Very, very saucy. I smell like this zesty kind of spice. So here we go, guys. A rounder noodles. Wow! You would think after eating three bowls of noodles, I would stop salivating, but I'm still, I'm drooling looking at this. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, oh! You definitely taste this lime flavor coating your mouth. Not only is the spice dancing on your tongue, but also this tanginess from the lime. Immediately when I took a bite, I could already taste the habanero lime. That's how strong the flavor is. It's so much more different from the other flavor. And wow, it's real spicy. This one is extra spicy. It's definitely the habanero. It's so good. It reminds me um when you guys eat Takis like Takis ramen. Wow, that habanero just adds an extra level of kick. I'm sweating. <laughs> I feel like the other ones were kind of still sweet and creamy, but this one, woo! Habanero lime, it's definitely got this extraordinary spice with big zest. You taste a lot of that lime. As soon as I took a bite, I could taste the habanero. And wow, this is extra spicy, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> mm. The more I taste it, the more there's like this sweet lime flavor. If you guys like a sour and spicy kind of combo, then you're gonna like this one. Habanero lime, there you go. Oh, I'm gonna have Annie try this one. Oh, fuck. Just, oh, whoops, cost, cost, oops. <laughs> Bad. Not bad. You could definitely tell it's spicy. It's not spicier, right? I think it's because the other ones are creamy, so it can kind of cancel out. The yeah, spice. the other ones were still like light and sweet, but this one is like, ooh. There is a bit of like tangy sweetness. To yeah, it. I love the fact that Bulldog have more, you know, like Mexican flavors in there, and also the packaging is just so cute. This is what one of the flavors that's like super different from the rest for sure. It hurts so good. Just love pain. It really does taste like. You got fresh lime and you just want like this and squeeze it all into noodles. So there you go, uh, habanero lime. If you're looking for something with an extra kick that is like zesty, that is tangy, then um, you gotta try this one. I'm really glad this is the fourth one we tried because if I started with this one, game over. 17, four quattro cheese. Cream carbonara, 19. Ooh. Cheap flavor. We're almost there, almost till day 24. Oh, the original. From this row, I'm definitely gonna try the kimchi ramen flavor. I wonder if it's like a little sweet and sour. Here we go. For this one, uh, boiling water, cook for five minutes, leave five tablespoons of water, add sauce and stir fry for 30 seconds. Kimchi flavor. I had to add a little bit of kimchi with these noodles. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. Don't eat this many in one day. Mmm. Oh, it's very kimchi flavor. The sourness of kimchi noodles in there with nice sweetness. It's like if you add in gochujang paste and you shredded up kimchi and you sauteed it all together. That's what this tastes like. It truly tastes like you mix this up with kimchi. Wow! And this one is not as spicy as the other ones, which is what I like. Light sweetness, definitely a lot of sourness from the kimchi, but it's not the kind of um, tangy sourness as the habanero lime. It's definitely the fermented sourness of kimchi packed into these noodles. I think it gets less spicy, but I swear, every time I take a bite, I'm like, Damn, this is spicy. <laughs> Not as spicy as the last one. And you want to try? You want to try this? Okay, I'll like this you one still, over that one. You like this one over the habanero lime? Mhm. Mm it's like a different kind of sour tanginess. Mm -hmm. And I think this sour fits better with the noodles. With the noodles. Mm -hmm. This is definitely more um, of like you know when you think about Korean noodles where it's kind of um, sour and sweet all at the same time and spicy. This is like the epitome of that. My favorite so far is still the cream carbonara, you guys. I just love the creaminess and I love the curly noodles. Mm. Let me take a bite with the kimchi. Maybe maybe the kimchi will help with the spice or something. Mm. Wow, look at this <laughs> lipstick mark. Mwah. Wow, the kimchi pairs so well with the noodles. It's sour, but it's also like cold and refreshing paired with the spicy noodles. Oh, such a good combo. If you get the kimchi one, make sure to pair with some kimchi. There you go. <laughs> you want plump, luscious lips? Just buy fire noodles. <laughs> what is it? Carpmas. Car oh, Merry Carpmas, I love that. Well, you really like the kimchi one? I do. Come and then for like a non-creamy one? Yeah. I think the kimchi one's like one of the better ones. Oh, really? My sinuses are cleared. <laughs> My face is sweating. Yeah. <laughs> What do you have It's already the last row. 21! This is so fun. <laughs> Cheese. 22. Carbonara. I could eat a whole pack of this, like a six pack of these. Three. It would be Christmas Eve. Here we go. Ah, I see special new habanero lime. And there we go, all unboxed. Our very last row and last flavor of this video, we're gonna try the tomato pasta. For this one, put noodles into 20 ounce of boiling water, cook for five minutes. Remove all the water, put sauce and powder into noodles. Stir well. Last noodle. Tomato 
pasta. This one is so cool because you actually drain out all of the water, then you put in the powder and the sauce. So it's not as creamy as the other one. It's actually quite thick and a little bit sticky. So good, look at that. Oh, ooh, it went to twirl it. Mm. It never gets not spicy. Just got a little tear. <laughs> It's actually really good. The flavors we tried were all quite different. Like, they did a good job kind of separating out the flavors. This one, even the texture is different. It's more sticky, it's more clumpy, it's not as creamy. I think out of all of them, this one is the sweetest of them all, but still very spicy. The spice just, it never goes away. I feel like, you know, you know when you watch Hot Wings and it like, every wing gets spicier. That's what I'm feeling like here. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea for the holidays. I really was so excited to try this and now I'm in tears. I'm, it's so spicy. Why is this one so spicy? Oh, I think cause there's no water to thin out the sauce. Thumbs up this video. It's definitely dark red compared to others. If you guys don't like it saucy, don't like it creamy, you like your noodles kind of like sticky and sweet, um, then you're gonna really like this one. And it does taste quite spicy. I think it's because there's no water to thin out that sauce. So you're just eating spice. Out of all the noodles, this one's the most red, most fiery, but also it's tomato. I think anyone who likes like actual pasta pasta will They'll like this like one. Oh pasta yeah. Some kick. Annie just said if you add meatballs to this, ooh, maybe we can do like a how to enhance your fire noodles next time because I do feel like if you add stuff like eggs, meatballs, like veggies to a lot of these, they would taste even better. But already the sauce and stuff, fantastic. Here we go. This is definitely more similar to a pasta pasta. Maybe that's why it's called tomato pasta. Mm, there we go. Tomato pasta, y'all. I need a moment. I just ate six packs of fire noodles. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That, <laughs> what am I trying to say? <laughs> I can barely see. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a Samyang Bodak Ramen taste test. You can grab all of these flavors at H Mart. Habanero Lime is the new flavor, but definitely give any other flavor that you fancy a try. Thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which of the flavors that we tried today would you love to try? Guys, if we get this video to 3,000 thumbs up, I will try the 2X fire noodles. Wait, can we do that for 4,000 thumbs up? If we do 4,000 thumbs up, then I will torture myself. And I'll see you guys next time. And happy holidays, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See you next time, bye. Here's a spicy kiss. Mwah. I wanted to spice up the season, not like this. <laughs> Gosh. Happy holidays, y'all. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is ramen. Not men, just ramen. <laughs>